Mary Mary is with us today. Hi, ladies. How you doing? Doing, doing well. Good. How are you? I'm doing wonderful, and I'm so happy to see you, you both look absolutely beautiful. Thank you. Fabulous <laughs> skin, hair. I'm just scared of y'all. <laughs> the last time you were here, something big was just dropping. Yeah. Yes, March 29th, a year ago. Wow, mm-hmm. that's right. And now... When you named that CD something big, did you know that your whole life was going to change and everything was going to be big? No, I actually no, we did not. We, we didn't. It, it, it came as a huge surprise. And now, you know, March 29th a of year this later, year, we are premiering our, our reality show. Yeah, on and TV. Thought. I know. Now, yeah. it's already aired and we had a chance to see it on Thursday night for yes. the first time. And I, I'm oh. really proud of y'all. Thank you. You represented Christian women well. Thank you. I think people were expecting one thing. Drama. And they just saw, we women well, there's too. drama, but they were expecting drama and foolishness. Yeah, ain't nobody doing all that. Mm-hmm. You, you hating each other and throwing glasses at folks' Come heads. On. Not not this show. That's another yeah. show. And, real and life. we're not trying to hate on nobody's show. Right. But our, we wanted our reality show be to be our real lives. We didn't try to come up with something to, this is what TV wants. This is what works on TV. Yeah. If we, if our reality was not enough, we that we wouldn't have done this. Right. People had preconceived ideas of what a yeah. Christian life looked like mm-hmm. behind closed doors. And, you know, they think you, you know, have butterflies and, and you know, fairy dust floating around and, and everything Bibles. is always great. Yeah, and holding exactly. Bibles all day long. No. Seven. Yeah. <laughs> right. I don't have a Christian plumber. I just got a Christian. Time, right. Just regular. Is this not Jesus paint on my walls? It's regular paint like you use. Exactly. I go to the store, regular yeah, orange juice. Hallelujah milk. That's just regular old cow's milk. <laughs> right. That's, right. Right. that's all. <laughs> Right. right. Well, that's what we appreciate is that I, you know, you've always been able to bring inspiration. Not not that it's not gospel, but mm-hmm. inspiration opens the door to so many other people yes. to be welcomed in. And it I think be, your show does that. It's funny yes. that you would say that. I think once people are inspired by you, whether they are accepting of your faith or not, if they are inspired by you, then you all of a sudden have a voice with them. Mm -hmm. But if your approach or whatever it is that you do that isolates you and makes you so set aside is not relatable, then people will not be able to relate to you. And if they can't, how are you going to give them the gospel? How? Yeah. How? You, can, yeah. you cannot unless people have th- right. some kind of connection with you. So we have learned over time that there are things about our lives that are inspiring beyond yes. our music, just yeah. being wives, being mm-hmm. sisters who are able to stay in business. Yes. When most of the groups that came out the year that we came out, they're, 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 they're no more, wow. you know. And being you know? sisters... And being sisters, like love, <laughs> right. and, like, love <laughs> right. each other, and we have our fa- we have our fair, fair, fair share of conflict. Mm-hmm. But we're real sisters who love mm-hmm. each other and wouldn't compromise our sister relationship, so we're or fame, or anything. So right. we're yeah. resolving, and you see that on the show. You mm-hmm. might see us like. I think they're going to go to blows, but then you see <laughs> you see the resolve because our parents raised us. To, you don't, yes. no, 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 not in this family. Yeah. We and then we know, no that our, and, we know that our ministry and our calling and our purpose mm-hmm. is much bigger than whatever that argument is. So we get over it and keep yep. it moving. And hopefully that, because I know some people, even in, in the body of Christ, yes. they get in an argument and they ain't talked for years and they years. don't communicate. Not, you know, but yes. God forgive, forgive you, but I don't, you know. That's not uh, right. That ain't you're cool. You're supposed to go repent to your brother, then come talk to God. Right. So, you know, that's what we use here. And again, not that we're perfect, but, you know, our lives are, ba- our lives are based on biblical biblical principle. And when you live that out, yes. you don't hear a scripture quoted. You see the effects of it. And that's yeah. what we're showing on this show. It's mm. a regular show about regular life mm-hmm. and yes. how your life looks when you're not in the pulpit. That's right. right. When you're not preaching. What does Behind life without a microphone? Behind closed doors. <laughs> exactly. Right.